नमस्कार दर्शक बीन सूर्य वेलनेस एंड योगा सेंटर रक्ति दर्शन टेलीविजन को संयुक्त प्रस्तुति अरुणोदय योगा को अड़चालीस भाग में यहाँ हार्दिक स्वागत करदु विगत का एपिशोड में हमें योगा का फरक फरक आसन का साथ में उपस्थित भैया थी आज भी हमी योगा का फरक फरक आसन यहाँ प्रस्तुत करने हम साथम रहन अब भी लगो योगातर्फ Namaste. Welcome to the program called as Arunoda Yoga. With this module, we'll cover the practices coming from the southern part of India. The name of the practice is Ashtanga Vinyasa. Although the practice the world knows is coming from the southern point the seed lies in this country of nepal the practice is more important rather than the history of the practice but history also holds some importance to understand the context from where these practices are emerging the stanga vinyasa foundation is coming from the tradition of T Krishna Machari who learnt it in the place near Muktinath or Kailash with one of the most revered teacher of yoga of that time Shri Ram Mohan Brahmachari that practice focus on three things while the practitioners hold the position the first thing is the posture The second thing is the gaze the drishti and the third thing is the synchronization of the position with breath we'll explore the sashtanga vinyasa practice with this module before starting we'll just stick to the fundamentals which we have been following for these series of episodes awareness of the body awareness of the breath and the prayer this is a very powerful practice available and uh, it seems that the practice is more physical in nature but the insight is slightly different of this position these are highly spiritual practices and will lead you to the minimal thinking after you do these sequences and in tradition they do the practice by clubbing it with the sun salutation after the each position or they pick up the position from the sun salutation itself so with the practice if you feel yourself the energy level is getting down take rest for some time do some sun salutation slowly gently and then again start the practice your mind will always tell you to stop doing the practice your mind will remind you of your limitations but the aim of the yoga practice is to get beyond your limits so let's try three rounds of sun salutation then we'll take rest for some time and again start doing the positions of this primary series further this practice is also called as in the tradition the yog chikitsa series so it has all the potential to remove the defects and the diseases of the body while you continue this practice for some time to complete the whole sequence will take at least one and a half to two hours or even two and a half hours of the practice so right now our purpose is to learn the sequence so learn it and later on you could devise your own lesson plan for your practice Three rounds of sun salutation A first at the front of the mat. Foot close, hand by the side of the body, body straight and stressed. Just be still for some time. and sense the expansion and contraction of the lungs happening with the natural breathing 
and then gradually raise both hands up. Drop head and look towards the joint palm above your head. Gaze continuous. Legs also stressed. The fingers of your palm either spread at maximum or close. Then come forward and place your palm by the side of the foot and your head close with the legs. Go slow when you find your body unable to do the positions. Customize the position, bend knee forward, keeping legs straight be difficult. Head close towards the legs. Extend head neck to look towards front. Adjust palm, knee forward and then legs, both of them back. To shift weight of the body over your toe and the palm. Body few inches off the ground. In this tradition of Ashtanga Vinyasa, this position is also called as the Nadi Shodhan. We earlier know that the Nadi Shodhan is a breathing practice. This also is the Nadi Shodhan practice working around the different components of the body and cleansing them. And then rolling your toes, drag body forward to look up. Head inward. Foot completely touching the ground. Hands, legs, stress, chin close with the throat. your gaze towards the navel region. Then come forward and place both the legs towards the front, palm by the side of it and the head neck extended to look towards front. Then head close towards the legs. And then both the hands up towards the sky and gaze towards your thumb. Don't worry for the pain coming. Bear it if it is bearable. If you feel extremely uneasy, take rest. Hands down, palm by the side of the foot, head close with the legs. And whenever you find time, don't forget to club the postures with the inhalation and exhalation. Extend head neck to look towards front. Just palm, knee forward and then the legs, both of them back. To shift weight of the body over toe and the palm, body few inches of the ground. This position is called as Chaturang Dandasan. Huge strength will come if you perform this practice. Even sometimes try this practice out when you're not into the yoga time. Then rolling your toes, drag body forward to look up. Head inward. Foot touching the ground completely. Hands, legs stressed, chin close with the throat. Eyes looking towards the navel region. Then move both the legs towards the front, palm by the side of it, head neck extended. close towards the legs okay. 
and then both the hands upward towards the sky. Drop head and look towards the thumb. One last round and then we'll rest. Stretch hand up, forget the pain of the body, get beyond it. Hands down, palm by the side of the foot, head close with the legs. Extend head neck to look towards front. Keep hands, legs stretched as much as possible. Sense the abdominal movement happening with the breath. And just palm knee forward and then the legs back. Body weight to and palm. Roll your toes and drive body forward to look up. And then the dog position. Foot firmly on the ground, legs, hands stretched and close with the throat. Legs towards the front, palm by the side of it, head neck extended to look towards front. Head close towards the legs. And then both the hands upward towards the sky. Drop head and look towards your thumb or palm or hands. And then the hands back by the side of the body. Loose up legs and hands and be at ease for some seconds. As the purpose is to learn these practices, so we have customized it for the convenience of the viewers. So after this much of the practice, take rest for some time on the back and learn the sequences further with our Arnoda Yoga program. So first, lie down on your back. Take rest. Lie down on the back. Spread legs, hands, make yourself comfortable. And be it, leave the body. Lose the legs, hands completely. And take rest. Keep your eyes closed. Take rest. And let the body absorb effects. Keep your eyes closed. Let your legs, hands, trunk, neck, head absorb the effects of all your sincere efforts for some time. Take rest. Body must be straight. Spread hands. And to let the effect of the practice into the depth or into the depth inside of the body, we should practice awareness of the body. We'll practice that and then we'll end the module with one chant <clears throat> and the breathing practice is also one of. Keeping your eyes closed, body completely loose, facial muscles at ease, sense the presence of your head reason, the whole of the head, your face, back of the head, the right and the left side of the head. Mentally just stay around your head for some seconds. Then drop down your awareness to feel the presence of your neck 
in its complete circumference front back right side left side now mentally take your attention towards the abdominal or navel rise and fall happening because of the breath and since the easiness getting spread with each fall of the navel area all over the abdominal organs then time to sense the expansion and contraction of the lungs happening with the breath and since with each contraction the ease is getting spread all over the supportive respiratory organs then take attention towards the right and the left hand feel them from palm up to the shoulder region and sense with each time the body is exhaling the great ease in spreading all over the right and all over the left hand now time to keep attention over the back connected with the exhalation feel with each time you exhale the easiness covering the whole of the back the body is releasing all the pain and body is gaining new strength while you practice this precise yoga nidra the movements must be minimal don't move your body unnecessarily and then turn to stay around the right and the left leg feel the different joints thigh joint knee ankle joint your foot the thigh muscles the calf muscle and just relax for some time now we are about to end our module we'll exactly do or stick with the similar fundamentals we have been sticking with throughout our series we'll close the session with the mantra chanting and for that gradually wake up and sit up <clears throat> sit comfortably hands at rest on your knees back straight chin down three times inhale maximum with expansion of the lungs hold breath for some seconds and very gradually exhale air outside again inhale hold breath for some seconds and slowly exhale air outside one last time inhale hold breath and then exhale outside and just sit still we'll close the module with the chanting of om for three times chant on the way it is coming towards your inside and try to listen your own chant 
Inhale and chant Om. Feel the sensation around the forehead. Then take a breath and with exhalation open up your eyes. Thank you so much and stay tuned for the further practice. This was the preparation. Now we'll get ahead with the further sequences of the primary series. Thank you so much. धन्यवाद दर्शक बीन सूर्य वेलनेस एंड योगा सेंटर भक्ति दर्शन टेलीजन का संयुक्त प्रस्तुति अरुणोदय योगा को अड़चालीसों भागी में हमी प्रस्तुत कर सकता छो अरुणोदय योगा का संपूर्ण टीम धीरे धीरे धन्यवाद तैंहर तो टेलीजन हेर साथ दी रहन टीविजन हेदे रहोला तैंह तो को दिन शुभ रहोस् नमस्कार